I think this guy got auto-filled. Are you hyper set? Yeah, he looks cool. I'll play him. I'm just trying to wonder- I'm just wondering though, why would I- how, how would I ever pick him? Like, why would I ever pick him compared to like, well, any ranged champion or any like, like OP bruiser? Why would I pick him? I looked at his kit, and I'm like, it doesn't look that strong. You know, I could be wrong though, like, I don't know, we'll see once it really releases, I'll play him for a bit. You know, you know who I think is OP this patch? Mordkaiser's broken as fuck. Mordkaiser, stat check champions are pretty good in solo queue. Like, Darius is pretty good too. At least in so like I said in solo queue, solo queue. Like if you if you get to if he gets to go against a bruise or whatever, he gets if he gets a good pick. Hey, could you cover map in game? Nah, dude, I'm not fucking covering the map in fucking preseason. No, no, dude, not in preseason. Come on. <laughs> not in fucking preseason. I'm not gonna cover the map. Uh, I don't know what I'm going against. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have a pick. Bakali's up, Aatrox is up, Gangplank is up. You know what? They want me to one be nine this. I'll do, I'll do Riven. I'll do a Riven game. Fjord, that's a cool matchup. What did you stream yesterday? I saw you doing work through other streams. Cause I, you know, sometimes I just feel like playing League off stream just to focus on my own gameplay. And I, I like just strictly focusing to see what li little things I can fix here and there. The only thing I learned yesterday is to not have, not have cutie pie on your team, but I already knew that before, so it was more like a, I don't know, <laughs> like, okay, so you, you remember this agent, right? Don't have cutie on your team, or he's gonna end. I, I managed to carry him one game, and then the next game on the enemy team, he entered his team, and then we won that game too. Then he was on my team later that day, and we lost that game again. It's just like the cutie pie difference. It's a friendly reminder. Yeah, exactly. Friendly reminder. Five percent biscuits. Down armor. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, let's go. I just that he loved his grandfather. No, I just, uh, it's just, there's not that many. Look, dude, I'm, we meme Cutie Pie, actually, but like, he's better than the average solo queue, like, solo queue player in high elo. It's just that, you know, he's a, he's a streamer, so it's like, watching him int a lot, this is kind of funny. Your favorite matchup? This matchup is like even more 50-50. Okay, so before you guys know how I used to say, Riven had like 65 and she, or like 40, 55 and Fiora had 45, like chance of winning, right? Now it's like literally like 50-50. It could even be a little bit higher for Fiora's son. Like it's actually a pretty hard matchup now. If, if the Fiora's extremely good and the Riven's extremely good, I don't think they kill each other 1v1. I think it's a jungle difference matchup now. Whoever engages first is the one that loses. So if I engage, she loses. If she like if I engage, I lose. If she engages, she loses. So it's it's really fucked. I don't I don't mind it cuz I know how to play around jungle, but still but Fiora needs low ping, remember? Not not in this matchup. You don't need low ping to play the, the Riven matchup. Because the W is non-reactable, so it's a, it has to be prediction even low ping. And the third Q is slow enough that you can parry it normally. So you, you don't need uh you don't need low ping in this matchup. You're fine with like 70 or less.
I keep hearing about land pros in my games apparently, and I keep making them go like 0 and 7. Damn, I should be a land pro. Like right now, if if the like actually this is really important. If you're the Fiora and you see the Remy third Q towards you and she doesn't have her E, parry parry it every time because if Fiora parries Ribbon third Q, you can take like 60% of Ribbon's HP with a combo, and then back up. <coughs> so the matchup really really changed. I need to be so careful. For the leash, my friend. What changed in this matchup? The buffs I gave her before, and now Conquer being more like Ferber is like a little bit of a buff to her as well compared to the old Conquer. Guys, bone plating. Damn, he already fucked up once. That's fucked. Now he's gonna get. Oh my god, you fucked up twice. You're not a pro player. That's a lie. Oh, he has E level 2. Damn, that's really ballsy. The reason it's really ballsy is because if if, if the Lee Sin decides to like, path topside, she just dies here and there's no counterplay. If he has parry, she can outplay a, a gank really easily. No, I'm fine. I wouldn't. I, I'm not gonna die to the Zach. Are you aware of the all enemy CDs during laning phase? Yeah, you have to be, in order to punish. Okay. So now potentially Zach. Could have passed up here. He could be one of these brushes ready to gank me, right? So I need to just be very safe with my. I can't. I can't do an uh, a, a trade where I jump into her. If I do that, I potentially just die. I need to wait until I have information somewhere else that shows me where the Zac could be. I'm gonna pop a pot. I still have my my biscuits, so. Okay, Zach is bottom. Oh, the other, the, the other really important thing about this matchup is that you have to be in, in like, if the wave, it's kind of like, it, it's transformed into the Irelia matchup in a way. If the wave is pushing towards your side, you win with a train because she can't chase you down. But if it's pushed to her side, I can't fight her. Because she can, it's, she could, well, yeah, she can just chase you down with her ulti and you die. It's really bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, this matchup turn from a fighting one, I mean, you could fight, but most of the time, Ribbon will just lose the the, the random all-in. You could just fight. It's not gonna look good, though. Did she reset? It'd be smart of her if he reset here. 
I'm gonna risk it and try to push the whole wave in. Because she, the, the part of it where it's smart is that she reset, and she didn't have to use TP. So if I reset now, I have to force myself to TP to the lane. Wow, my stun didn't hit. If I flash into the into the brush, she can't tell when I'm gonna throw the wind slash, so she's just forced to. Usually, if because if I flash anywhere else, she just holds the parry. But if I flash into the brush, she's like, well, I have to react to either a wind slash coming out of the brush, perfectly. Or I just parry right away. So I just, whenever I'm in near the bushes, I try to do that. It's it would suck if she had it warded though. I would get fucked. Let's do this. Uh, do that. Wow, we think it's 37 months. She doesn't think it will react to the third Q. I mean, if she, he, that's I I want her to parry on the third Q. I want her to, so I can flash it and then go and may force her flash back. So she want what she wants to do is either to parry my wind slash, just hold it the whole way so I can't throw my wind slash and she kills me, or well, she could try to parry the third key, but then if I don't if I, if I flash it, then she loses too. So. What do you buy this item? Executioners? Because it's really good against Fiora. She heals with every time she hits a vital, and with this you prevent her healing by a good amount. See, I actually wanted to look for a TP bottom, but the thing is like this wave is so good for me that if I, if I TP bottom I'm just rolling. She needs to force me to not freeze this wave, I don't know what she's doing. She's just giving me a free freeze here, for no reason. I don't know where she- I think she's gonna get the plant or something, like she's just really scared that I'm gonna kill her. If I see Fiora go down, then I'll TP. I have TP advantage over her. We got the dragon. Nice. Nice vital hit. See, now me all inning with ulti is actually more dangerous than before, because I don't have flash. Whenever I don't have flash in this matchup, it's like Fiora should win every time. But I don't have a way to outplay. Yeah, I know, I know, he's there. I just want to make sure she doesn't freeze. Now that she can't freeze, I back up. Do I need this push? I'm gonna sell this and keep the biscuits. She loses this, I'm not sure what she's doing. That's very poor uh, decision making by him. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. 
Yeah. What was that? That was so sloppy. Okay, let me reset. I need to reset. I need to be. Okay, with VR coming back. Now that I got this item, it's pretty much done though for the Fiora. Wipe a Fiora at that point. He probably thinks he's a good Fiora. Dude, I used to think I was a good Fiora a while back. I've gotten, I've improved a lot with Fiora, but still. This guy doesn't play Fiora well enough to be able to pick her in this matchup. But I mean, that's how you learn, right? That's how you, that's how you learn the champion. You play her, you lose like fucking hundreds of games until you figure out what you're doing wrong. More power to him, dude. Fiora feels boring to play? What the fuck? Fiora's fun as fuck to play. What are you talking about? You're trolling. I guess it's, uh, depending on the person, right? What are you doing? I gave you a ward to jump to. I gave you a ward to jump. Fuck, he W'd back into me. That sucks. I face it, dude, that you're trolling. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> Alright, we get, uh, I could go Ghost Plane. If I want to, but she hasn't built Tabby yet, so. Ghost Blade's fine. They're running me. Just gonna stay up here. But yeah, whenever whenever you don't have f flash as Riven, be very fucking scared because Fiora can always kill you. If uh, it, it mostly has to do with the fact that if she parries your W or third Q, you need to flash it. If you're not on an angle where you can dodge it yourself. See, like right here, she's behind, right? But like. She could still kill me very easily because I can't dodge the wins of the the W. She plays it properly. That really sucks. That really sucks because my wind slash miss when I threw it there. She should have done. That's that's one thing I always do as Riven. I always jump into the brush to make them use her, their their W because they're always scared of the wind slash is gonna come out. I do that all the time.
achieved up here, it's just tilted by this point. Oh, now I can get Kindle Gem and I'll have 40% City Arm for whatever split push I do down here now. That's good. It's real good. Against Fiora, you need the shield first item because you don't win the first three levels. She always pokes you with Q. The shield is really good against them. Let him die. He fucked up. Wait. Maokai OP? That angle wasn't good enough to jump that wall. Feels bad. I love playing matchups like this because it really shows you like what, if a player is actually good or not mechanically when you face them. Like e even pro players, there's some players that can't play this matchup at all, like Fiora versus Riven or Fiora versus like any skill matchup. And then there's some pro players that you actually look at them, you play this matchup, and I'm like, damn, this guy actually knows what he's doing. That's really good. It's like a, it's a, it's actually a test, a really good test. That's not a pro. He's working against D1. I know. I'm, I'm just pointing. I'm just pointing it out. I, I actually don't know if he's a pro or not. I have no idea. I'm just saying, like in general, whenever I've gone against pro players that know how to play this matchup, they're usually really good mechanically. And the, the pro players that don't know how to play this matchup are very. Eh. Like for example, like th this is not to flame the pro players that can't do this one, obviously, because they, they could easily learn it with enough with enough games and uh, or just. In general, but like for example, when I play against Arshan, he can't play this matchup at all. But if I play against Viper, he actually knows how to play matchups like this that even punish you even harder for like even a tiny mistake. So you can see the difference in skill, even like Licorice, Licorice, right? But wait, what's his name again? Fuck, I forgot. He's extremely good. He knows how to play matchups like this. It is Slickers? It is Slickers? Okay, yeah, I got it right then. Nice. Viper is good, but Darshan is good. Viper... Dude, I, we, I played against uh, Darshan uh, multiple matchups last like them during the Twitch Rivals. I solo killed him every time. I know I'm playing Riven, but like, he's the thing. Like, If you play any mechanical champion that gets ahead, like Camille and all that, in specific matchups, you should still not be dying. How about Broken Blade? Broken Blade is super good, too. Mechanically, like he actually plays his matchups really well. Like he he can do, for example, Camille, Aatrox, right, for both sides, and he actually almost uh, he he knows how to play it to the dots, so where he can win both sides pretty well if he like you know if he's really good with it. Broken Blade's really good player too. 